The competition in the Intel N100 mini PC space is fierce, with plenty of good options to choose from and new ones coming out regularly. Now Mini's forum joins the crowded field with its UN100D mini PC, and since we've looked at the most older leg N minis on this channel, you're going to see how it stacks up against a sizable portion of the competition. But you're going to have to wait until right after this message. Ease Us To Do Backup Home is an award-winning backup solution to keep your data safe. Backup, clone, upgrade or transfer your system easily and protect it from ransomware. To Do Backup Home even supports backing up to the cloud. Trial it for free with a link in the video description. Mini's forum has put together a smaller than average plastic mini PC which feels decently solid. There's a little flex on the sides and bottom where the airflow vents are, but for the price, I can't complain. Much. I've seen worse plastic quality builds for more money. The cheapest UN100D I found matching my configuration on Amazon.com is $184 US dollars for the 16GB RAM, 512GB SSD model, which is competitive when you take into account its feature set. Intel's N100 CPU has been covered extensively on this channel, and its capabilities are very well known at this point. It's a budget CPU with 4 cores, 4 threads and UHD graphics with variable power limit configurations. Which means many of the N100 minis perform differently, especially on the multi-core workloads and only a few that have been reviewed actually are at the maximum N100 performance out of the box. Inside the package is a power supply, HDMI cord and a couple of spare rubber feet. The front of the Mini has three USB ports, which is uncommon, and it's something you'll like or won't depending on how many USB you need on the back. Two of them are USB 3 10 gigabit, and one is a USB 2. Oh, and I do want to point out the blue power LED button is annoyingly bright on this Mini. On the right side is a micro SD card reader, which is a nice extra storage option for something like media files. The back has dual Intel 2.5 gigabit LAN and 3 ports for displays if you include the USB-C which is 10 gigabit. But it also supports power and display. I tested it with my USB-C monitor and it worked no problem. All displays max out at 4K 60Hz. Wireless networking is handled by an Intel AC9560 chip which launched in 2017 and is suitably budget. Anyway, let's test its wireless range. Bluetooth is up first using an audio speaker, and we're looking at the longest distance with clear, uninterrupted audio playback. While this budget chart isn't populated with many minis yet, I can say the UN100D's Bluetooth range is just average. Unfortunately, on the Wi-Fi side, I had constant ping issues at 12 meters or 39 feet using the 5G band and playing Valorant. The game client showed constant spikes from 30 milliseconds to over 100. So it fails the test at this distance since the reception is too weak. Okay, let's open it up. The Minis Forum UN100D uses rubber feet, but they're not glued on. Just slot in. Thank God. And you have a couple of spares if you manage to break one. Once they're pulled off, four screws to remove and then lift the bottom lid. There's a 2.5 inch SATA cable for an extra storage drive which mounts to the bottom lid. And there's a Gen 3 NVMe SSD included which doesn't have any cooling. No sodium RAM slot either. The LPDDR5 memory is soldered on. Wi-Fi is also soldered onto the board and not user replaceable. So far, Mini's forum has bundled all its mini PCs I've reviewed with Windows 11 Home, and this one is no different. After a scan, no malware was found on the OS drive. Everything worked fine with my Ubuntu test off the USB. All right. Time to see how this Mini holds up against the fierce budget competition. In single core, it's one of the lower performing N100s, but there's not much between them. It's only behind the top score by 3%. Multicore is where the UN100D has one of the lowest N100 results. And that's because it's been set to a lower power limit. I tried increasing it in the BIOS, but it seems to be locked as my settings were ignored in Windows. And so, against the top result, it's 17% behind. Geekbench shows a high single core result as expected. Although, the multi-core isn't as far behind as in Cinebench. You can see the Mini's Forum UN100D takes the longest of any actively cooled N100 Mini PC to encode a H.264 video file 
and there's a big difference between first and last place. No surprise when it's providing less power to the CPU. Moving on to the integrated graphics test. The UN100D uses DDR5-4800, and while it looks like an average result in DX11 and DX12, there's almost nothing separating it and the best result. As an example, the DX12 result is just over 1% behind the top score. Mini's forum has bundled a Gen 3 NVMe drive with the pre-build, but since older Lake N CPUs have few PCIe lanes to go around, some compromises need to be made, such as less USB ports, or the NVMe drive running at X2 speed instead of X4. And that's what's happening here. Crystal Disk Mark shows it's saturating the available bandwidth on both the sequential read and write. I've reviewed a lot of N100 minis and I want to avoid repeating the same tests over and over, so instead, let's go through a quick summary of what it can do. As an Office PC, it's perfectly fine. Thanks to its hardware video decoders, you can watch 4K 60fps YouTube, including AV1. It does a decent job at multimedia workloads, so Photoshop and 1080p Premiere will be okay. GameCube, Wii, and PS2 emulation is capped at 720p resolution. Some games will need a further drop to get full speed. You can play some lighter and older games on it as well. Roblox and Minecraft at 1080p is decent, or GTA 5 at 720p. Mini's forum has put a fancier bias on this mini PC than the usual blue screen. As mentioned earlier in the review, the bias does not allow you to raise the power limit from the default 18 watt boost. Nothing happened when I tried various combinations. It also has other features you might like, including Restory on AC power loss, my favorite, Wake on LAN, and RTC Wake. Idle power draw is just average on the UN100D. It's the lowest max power draw of any actively cooled mini PC, thanks to its lower power limit. But remember, it also comes with lower multi-core CPU performance. Checking the max CPU temperature, it's really low, and there's plenty of headroom to add more power and heat. I think Mini's forum should have just set the power limit to the N100's maximum out of the box, since the cooling is up to snuff. It's also a quiet mini PC, which isn't uncommon in the budget segment, but always great to see. There's no cooling on the NVMe drive, apart from the airflow cutouts on the bottom plate, but since it's running at just X2 speeds, it holds up better than I expected in the thrash test. So, with all that out of the way, let's summarize. The Minis Forum UN100D is one of the cheaper mini PCs with dual 2.5 gigabit LAN. It runs cool and quiet, and has three storage options with a 2.5 inch SATA drive and micro SD card slot. USB-C power delivery and display is supported. However, DDR5 memory is soldered on when it shouldn't be on a mini this size. If there's not enough space on the board, a slightly bigger one with a slot you can upgrade and replace RAM would have been great. Multicore CPU performance is down due to a low power limit, and the BIOS doesn't allow it to be increased manually. I'm sure this can be fixed with a BIOS update, but whether it happens is anyone's guess. I'll pass on my feedback and add a pinned comment if there's an update. Wireless range could be better, especially on the Wi-Fi side. Overall, I think some tweaks could have been made to the UN100D to make it a more desirable product. This one best serves those looking for a budget mini PC with dual 2.5 gigabit LAN as it's cheaper than the other units I've tested. So let me know what you think of the UN100D, and if you're looking for a powerful Intel mini PC with a ton of ports, check out my review of the Mini's Forum UH125 Pro, which definitely impressed me right here. Cheers!